I'm back. It's Barry Babe. Um, what I want to talk about is what results I got from the big electronic scale because now I there might be two things going or going on besides improvement in scores yeah improvement in scores um, it also might be that the connections were better but I'll be watching to see if my stats stay consistent but um, I'm looking at three different dates, June 25, July 24, and then 816. So weight-wise, June 25, I was 163.9, July 24, 157.5, and today it registered 153.4. So my fat percentage in June was 39, the end of July it was 38.1 and today it was 35.7 which is in the high normal range and when you're an old lady you get to carry more fat but I don't like that idea my visceral fat which is the fat that's around your organs and um, keto talks about this is where if you have uh, insulin resistance this is where you put it on, and I, that's just where I packed it. My visceral fat in June was 10. In July, it was 9, and today it was 8. And that it, it gives you a little range scale, but it doesn't label them. It used to, but it doesn't anymore. I think it was in the normal scale, and 10 was the cutoff. So I was at 8, and then at 10, it turned color. So I have to think that... 10 is not good, and anything below 10 is better. My water, now I'm drinking water, but I'm really not drinking a lot more. June was 44.3. July was 44.9. Today was 46.7. And I think it was in low medium, but I don't know what that means. But protein, 16.6, 16.7, 16.8. So those are your organs. So I haven't lost, according to this, I haven't lost any body pieces. And, and HCG is supposed to protect that. They call it protein sparing. So that's what I'm hoping. Muscle, 40.9, 41.5, 43.1. Now one of the things they say about keto and fasting is that you end up losing fat and building muscle without even trying. I don't know. Bone, 3.6, 3.6, 3.7. And now it's giving me, it says I have 5.7 pounds of bone. Interesting thing that my muscle went up to 43.1. When it was 41.5, my BMR are the calories just to maintain my life was 1303 1301 now I'm four pounds less but they're giving me calories at 1336 so I'm feeding my muscles I'm feeding nothing right now because I'm drinking water but I'm supposed to be eating my own fat which that keto color gets deeper and deeper it's kind of exciting um, they say that once you be after about two weeks, the keto, the urine strips don't work if you're keto adapted because your body starts producing, and it's a big word, um, butyl something, butyl, butyl up something, and you can only test it with blood ketone, te blood testing, because it, it, it not doing ketones per se anymore so it doesn't show in your urine it's doing this other substance that then like really sends out the ketones that run things so um, I have a, a blood meter on the way so I'm hoping that by the time my dipstick dip strip dip strips stop showing I will be excited if I if I'm not eating then and I'm not dipping color I'm gonna be excited because I'm gonna know that I'm keto adapted 
But I think the most fun thing, besides fat, fat going down and muscle going up, my fit age has always been a year older. And during the month of my birthday, even though I didn't turn 63 till the end of the month, July 1, it said 64. You are a year older than you are, babe. Today, it showed 63. My BMI was 24.1, which is normal, in the normal range. It's high normal, but it's in the normal range. Like, okay, looking good, sounds good. But the visceral fat, I, 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 I need to do some research to find out what is optimal visceral fat. My waist is like 40. Um, got a lot of skin hanging around down there, but 35, I just saw Dr. Oz or something. You take your your height and, and you divide it and it tells you what your waist is supposed to be, but I've always heard that you, any bigger than 35 is bad news. So, but I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like 40, 40, 40 under here. You know, I'm just like, I got these little boobs that stick out here and then the rest of me is like, mm, and I turn sideways and it's like, mm, not a lot of interest going on anymore. So I'm delighted with not the weight so much, but good things are going on, even if I'm still having trouble getting the weight where it needs to be. And I, I still don't know. Well, definitely not until I break 150. I'm keeping the fast till I hit 150 unless something really horrendous starts happening. I've got the bone broth in the trailer already. So, and my husband and I were talking about I mean, we're going camping on Sunday and I may still be fasting but he's trying to figure out I said yeah, I really need to take my scale because I don't take my scale I get in trouble if I'd had my scale on this last vacation I might have kept if I could see it going down trending down I would have known I was okay or if I saw it staying the same I would have known I was okay so the last two times I haven't taken it and I have not I am not done well. You know, maybe I set myself up saying it's never gone well when I don't have my scale. But I'm still concerned about the level. If your scale's not yet level, you don't get a, an accurate reading. So he's trying to figure out a way he can create some sort of, like, it's a very small scale, like a board that he can stick shims under it so that you could level the board and then put the scale on it. So I'll let him because I... Simeon says take your scale always and forever and you know to be scale dependent I don't like but when I am not scale dependent I get in trouble because I don't know how to read the signals I create and I creep I start with the carrot and I'm okay with the carrot and I'm okay with the whole grain bread and then I, it slides you know, a little more of this, a little more of that, eating a little later than I should, and before I know it, like I said before, I'm buying the crap and fully indulging, and then, there, and then there's no turning back. Although, I'm really thinking that I'm going to be trying the intermittent fasting even when I'm doing keto, maybe. With these miracle noodles work, they end up being minimal carbs. Um, and if you're doing keto, I'm worried about getting my fat up and keeping my carbs low. I've never really been one just to put garlic, butter, and salt on pasta. But if this uh, Miracle Noodles and keto cooking with Christy really likes them, I may just be able to put um, some grass-fed Kerrygold butter on them with some garlic and, and eat that. Insta I don't do bulletproof coffee. I have been online and I have found, I, I bought some cocoa butter. Cocoa butter has zero carbs. Cocoa, brown cocoa does. So I found a recipe for white chocolate, white hot chocolate. And I haven't plugged it in my fitness pal to find out what the carb count on it would be because it uses, I think it uses heavy whipping cream and there's a little bit in that. When you do bulletproof coffee, there's zero, ca zero carbs because your coffee has none, your butter has none, your MCT oil has none. 
And the idea is that you can do that first thing in the morning and it doesn't affect your insulin at all. So therefore, it's like you're fasting. So I'm trying to find something that's going to be zero carbs for me that would satisfy so I could get a hit of fat and spread it out during the day. So um, I did put the, I got chicken breast with ribs on it and fat on it and I put it in the crock pot. And when I prepared the chicken for the chicken pot pie, I took off the skin and wrapped it in wax paper and put it in the freezer. And I took the bones and put them in a baggie and put them in the freezer for uh, bone broth. One person said that they saved all the bones. When the family ate chicken, they saved all the bones and stuck them in the freezer. And then when they had enough, they did bone broth. And we ate a lot of chicken, but my husband just really was disgusted by that idea. I said, you know, they sell bones at um, Whole Foods. Ten dollars for a package of old bones. They're making a mint. He says he's not real excited about this bone broth thing. He says the local grocery store sells dog bones. I said, hmm. Well, I said I'm not real sure how the how hygienic they are handling them if they know it's going to be dog bones. But. Anyway, this has been, it's going to end up being a 30-minute vlog by the time I'm done. And I'm sorry for that. I thought I had nothing to say. Surprise! Um, I'm feeling good. I, I really have felt that, you know, my skin is looking better. Last couple of vlogs, it seems like, you know, I don't wear any foundation. That I've looked, I look, my face looks Plumper, and now I'm seeing my Fu Man shoes, but I don't see those all the time. I'm I'm less under here, even though my weight is still a little bit up. So whether the fat the fat is leaving and the water's refilling it, and the muscles coming, I don't know. But I was thinking I was going to have to have a nip and a tuck here, and if I don't have to do that, that would be wonderful at least for a while. I got my daughter's wedding, and you know, next summer and those pictures last forever. Anyway, okay, well, tomorrow. I know I have some fans that are waiting for the day four what comes next stories. Okay, I'm torn between having some good ones for you and really wanting for it to be pretty mild. But and do you really want it to be mild if you've got stuff in there that needs to work its way out? I don't know. So, I got my clicker. I will say goodbye for now.